Do you have an ENV200? Well, I've got some good news for you. And if you don't have an ENV200 and just love open source community efforts, stick around. Some backstory. I've been helping ENV200 owners upgrade from 24 to 40 kWh packs with my Canbridge solution now for some time. Uh, there have not been as many ENV200 vans as there were leaves, but nevertheless there are quite a few vans now running around with my Canbridge code. I am happy to announce that the code just got a whole lot better after Glyn Hudson uh, another YouTuber that you should definitely check out, that does some amazing electric travel vlogs. Also updated his van with a 40 kilowatt hour pack and a can bridge. Glyn noticed that the AC battery cooling didn't work after fitting the can bridge. And since the can bridge is essential to get good instrumentation and uh, quick charges to reliably charge to 100%, this became a problem. Glyn theorized and uh, did some testing, and after some weeks of experimentation, we found the CAN message modification that was responsible for the broken cooling. So we fixed that, but we are not stopping there, oh no. At the same time, we made the ENV200 upgrade code fully open source. So that means that any ENV200 owner that wants to upgrade to a 40 kilowatt hour pack can now inspect and use that code. All that is required is a Muxan can bridge to run it on. We are hoping that this will inspire more to join in on the development and keep these vehicles going for longer. At the same time, Glyn also helped to test and review a version of the code that removed some pesky diagnostic trouble calls that were always present after a bigger battery had been fitted. So some top-notch stuff. If you want to check out the code, there is a link in the description. And as always, thank for watching. And hopefully someone watching this will benefit from these developments. Dull out.